Now to the Bahamas, where a fancy tea party helps celebrate 50 years of independence. And the fashion is certainly something to see. Here's our correspondent, Deandre Hamilton. Cue the violins. Ah, the stately table settings. Ladies in florals and beautiful hats. There is fashion and elegance. We have high tea, low tea, royal tea, R-O-Y-A-L, tea, not royal tea. Royal tea, you got that? You've got all kinds of tea. Straying not too far from its British roots, Bahamians still love a grand tea party. This one held on the road to 50. 50 years of Bahamian independence and attended by ladies from all spheres, including the country's first lady, wife of the Prime Minister, Anne-Marie Davis. You have provided us with yet another public platform on which to stand and proudly celebrate and memorialize Bahamian exceptionalism. Please, let us give an applause for Bahamian exceptionalism. Another dazzling addition was the keynote speaker, who is Bahamian-American Yolette McPhee McEwen, the champion head coach at famed American University, Ole Miss, a ceiling-shattering woman and pioneering figure in women's basketball at home and abroad. Coach Yo gave an inspiring pep talk. I hope that you use this opportunity to network and collaborate with all the great minds in here. Lift each other up. Fix each other's crowns. Be the change that you would like to see. And most importantly, don't lose hope. Because in the absence of hope, hate creeps in. And in this flower garden, which beautifully came to life at the Bahama Resort, a serenade by saxophone. DeAndre Hamilton reporting.